Well, today's Thursday, it's the uh, 23rd of May, it's 2024, and uh, well, we're down in Palma. We were <laughs> planning to go to Portichol, which is uh, on the way to the airport, and uh, we saw that there was a market in front of the cathedral, so that's exactly where we are. Uh, we did a U-turn, we came round and we parked up, and we're going to have a look to see what's, uh, what's on offer. I mean, if you can see the P over there, that's where the car park is, and usually there's some toilets there as well. And uh, this is right in front of Parc de Mar, which is where the cathedral is. So we've got the cathedral over there. There's the Muro, and just up at the top there is where this uh, market is. Uh, there's a few stalls down here as well. This is the Guinness Bar. This is where a few weeks ago we did uh, a photo shoot for the Mallorca Daily Bulletin. Uh, they wanted some real Mallorca fans, so we all came down dressed in our Mallorca tops and uh, had our photograph and ended up on the front page. So Some more toilets there as well. And another entrance to the car park. During the summer, uh, just on this Parc de Mar here, uh, nothing much happens actually on this piece of water. There's no boats. I've never seen any boats in here. Uh, but they do put a screen up there and uh, they have a uh, live, not live, they have cinemas. Wings out. We have, uh, yeah, they show films. A bird? Oh, yes, I see. <laughs> yeah, so they, they show films, so people come bring their own deck chair, sit down, and watch a film. And some of them are even in English. But are they planning to do that again this year? It's, uh, but they've done it well, every year, I think, pretty much in the past. And uh, just again, further down there, they do have concerts down there and bands playing, discos, and all sorts of things. So. Yeah, we do get these festivities here, but they don't actually use the water. The water pretty much is stagnant as well. So that's why there's uh, usually a fountain mixing up the water. It's not open to the sea, so boats can't get into it. From the sea. So I didn't know anything about this fair or market. I don't know what it's for, don't know what it's about, but I um, guess we can just have a look and see. <laughs> the green height is personality. <laughs> Shane, you should wear that colour. No, I like this. Oh, yeah, that's nice. It's early evening, it's just coming up to seven o'clock in the evening. And it has been out all day in Palma with Yvonne. And I've been doing my thing elsewhere. Come out, have a little walk. And uh, well, this is what we've done. We've ended up here. There's all sort of artisan type things here. Happy name put on a pearl. Actually, have a big sign which uh, tells you what it's all about. Can't see anything at the moment. I'm just showing you this side at the moment. I'll, uh, I will turn the camera around and we'll walk down the other side. The other side's quite different. So, we'll go and have a walk down here first. Lots and lots of tables and chairs. This is just a small selection. As you'll see in a minute, there are a lot more. And, uh, those food stalls come around here. Just before we do look at those, just down there, there are some more market stalls going along La Lonca. So here we've got uh, Mallorca juice and olives. We've all got the names properly written on the front here. They've been printed on. And uh, we've got the dried fruits here. 
Olives, the olives. Melons and kiwis and paprika, all lovely things. And then uh, you've got the, the sweets. So, there are more stalls down there and I'm just going to come this way a little bit because uh, there is a sign, we found the sign there. So there's some stalls here. So, panaderia, so that's breads and cakes and pastries. Like honey. And uh, then the archway here tells us what it's all about, so I'm just about to go through it and come as I'm so. Oh, it's the Fira. Marinera, uh, so artisans, food and gastronomy, um, organised by the Association of Artisans, uh, Marketeers, Riants de Mallorca. Well there we go, that's what it is. I think it's just another excuse for a fair, so I'm all in favour of that because we're... Enjoy. Want to go down there? He wants to go and have a look at the stalls down this way. But we'll come back to those because that's where the car's parked and uh, there's something to show you there. That takes you up to the Borne and to the Oh, I see an A and all the shops are up there. See this horse from here. This is another place for the cars to come out of the car park. There's lots of restaurants. Uh, they'll go down here. There's Ron Yule standing on his blimp. over there and lovely side streets which are particularly interesting in the evening time. The restaurants get busy. We still have a big pile of records and maybe I should think about doing something like this. Really cool. That's the end of it. There's, uh, only a few stalls down on this side, looks as though they're still in the process of setting up. The horse? Oh, nearly forgot the horse. We noticed this as we were coming along. And uh, it's actually exactly the same on the other side. So we were driving along the Fatio Maritimo and um, this is what you can see, but there's no explanation of it here. Uh, but as I was telling Anita, there's another very similar piece of work at the bottom of the Borne. And uh, it work inside? Yeah, it's just a big TV type screen with a, an image that keeps <laughs> going and going. Getting the steps in there, Anita says. So we can get a few steps in. And it's something, well, something different a little bit different. I would imagine it can do, they're just LEDs. It's just got a lot of LEDs programmed to light up. Mm 
Head back to the part across the road now. Another piece of art I've not noticed yet. That's something else that's new there. Just that one there before. It looks like it's been there a long time. It does, it's gone rusty. <laughs> all the old port area and the fishing port that way Those are the stalls we've been to have a look around. This here is the tourist information office. office. Uh, Serena actually worked here for a time and uh, used to give people directions of where to go. And then uh, we've got all of these stalls. Mitzi's just going over there. She's going to buy a pie to have with her dinner this evening. I'll just have to look at it because I can't have any. Very nice and uh, I think quite expensive jewellery and uh, things here. This is what I was going to show you. This is um, this is the food area and uh, there's uh, lots of food. It's uh, pizzas and empanadas. You could have had a pie from here. All the pizzas there. Um, here you can get yourself some freshly made crisps and uh, there's lots of sometimes for making the crisps lots of places to sit you can have a drink of a beer um, this is pork medieval style this the pork is serving it <laughs> And then uh, potatoes and sausages and paellas and just about everything else in it. And lots and lots of space for people to sit out and dine. So people will be coming down here this evening, it will go on, I'm, I'm guessing, till quite late and uh, people will be buying from the, the stalls and uh, do something to eat. And uh, once you've had all of that, uh, you need your dessert. And this is uh, churros and uh, chocolatey things. Mm, definitely not on my diet. Very tasty chocolate churros. Olive wood. She has. There's the cathedral. And, uh,
truffles. Delicatessen. Oh. Fancy food. Oh. More hats here. Put my summer summery hat on today. The leather hat does get a little bit warm. <laughs> Jewelry for cool people. These are uh, garlic um, juices. What do you call it? It's not a crusher. You just scrape the garlic over it, and it uh, grates it. I suppose a garlic grater. Lots of different things, and of course we've got. We've got uh, a cruise ship in at the moment, but there was another one earlier on, so something like this. Um, the cruise passengers often come to this particular area, it's one of the main attractions being the cathedral, and the coach drops them off just across the road from here. So you get the coach, uh, coach loads of people coming to have a look at this thing, and they want to take a souvenir, something back, and if it's a local artisan thing, then what better gift can you take from milk or something that's actually made or produced here? I'm all in favour of that. Yeah. I need to have stopped the other day in uh, Porta P, and Porta B is our shopping mall. That's exactly what it is, it's a shopping mall. It's uh, where you go and buy your groceries. Uh, your clothes, your shoes, your makeup, whatever you need to buy. And uh, she was asked by some people who got off a cruise ship where they could buy some some souvenirs from. And uh, well, there isn't really anything souvenir shoppy in, uh, in Portopee. And there are some things you can buy which say Mallorca on them. And, and, uh, you can go into the big supermarket, Carrefour, and you can buy some things that say Mallorca on, but they're not like these sorts of souvenirs that you're going to buy from a store like these. Uh, we've got things that have actually been bought here. These are neat. Have you got your pie? Have you got a pie? I don't know, maybe. Oh, maybe. <laughs> that seems very strange. No, I'm not going to get any. It's nice that there's people here, but not too many people, so you're not actually bumping into people constantly. So, and some of them get very, very busy. And all the time, if you don't want to look at the stalls, you can just look across at our magnificent cathedral. Incense on that one, that stool. 
nice. Smell. Nice and room. Well, I wasn't expecting this. Uh, we were expecting to be walking along the seafront uh, near to Portichal, which is just like the next area along. And instead, uh, we're wandering through an artisan market. We probably made the right choice. Lisa says she's already done her 10,000 steps for the day. I don't think I've done that many. But, um, I've done quite a few. I've had a, a good boys day out. I've been down around all the DIY stalls, shops, stores. I think there'll be a, a constant stream of people through here tonight. Yeah. That was a nice uh, surprise, something we weren't expecting. And uh, um, I think just got a I don't know, whatever she's got, her secret thing in the back there. She might let me see later it's on. not very big. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.